Ladies and gentlemen, welcome aboard Suburban Bus Trip SBTK 587-34986-LM0734-2. Service going towards Aldinga Beach. In just a short moment, we'll be presenting to you a very short safety demonstration, highlighting all the safety information regarding this vehicle. Now we realise many of you do bus quite frequently. So to reinforce what you already do know, and to make sure that we're not distracting to all those around us, we ask for your closest attention. Your safety is our number one priority. Normally at this time, we would direct you to the safety card in the seat pocket in front of you. However, on our most recent trip, a passenger decided to cut a paper doll out of the card, and I believe it now portrays the wrong image. We will now direct your attention to the emergency exits. The exits can only be accessed when a member of the crew yells evacuate, evacuate, evacuate. Upon hearing this call, remain calm and in your seats until the captains have made their way safely off board. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for listening to this important safety demonstration. For now, sit back, relax, enjoy your trip. We're going to be back with you in just a moment explaining the remainder of the journey for you. And we're back! Well, this afternoon we have what many are describing as an epic inflator cool party. Today there's going to be eight inflator cool teams and they're going to play four different inflator cool games. <laughs> to explain the first inflator cool game, come with me. The first inflator cool game that we're going to play is going to be volley cool. Many of you may have heard of a game similar to Volley Call, described as Volley Ball. It's very similar, but this game is cooler. What we're going to be doing is we're going to have two teams opposing each other. Both will be on e either side of a net. The idea of the game is to keep the ball off the water. That's a differentiation point. There's no ground in this game. It's all inflated cool. is called Dodge Call. In Dodge Call, it's similar to the land game Dodge Ball. However, there's two teams. One team is on the outer perimeter on the Metropolis, throwing balls at the inner team on the inner perimeter, not on the perimeter, in the perimeter. It's a game of infl inflator cool balls being thrown around. Once you are hit by a ball, you are out. The idea is to dodge every inflator cool item that is thrown at you. Inflator cool game number three is called Floater Cool. The idea behind this game is that two teams will compete in an inflator cool battle. There will be two sets of different coloured balls. One team will be one colour. The other team will be the other colour. Both colours are inflator cool. There is a sack on the base of the inflator cool ocean. Contestants of both teams need to capture the ball and put it in the sack. Contestants will need to dive deep into the inflator cool ocean to put it into the entry of the sack. The first team to fill their inflator cool sack completely and have no inflator cool balls remaining wins everything to do with inflator cool, floater cool. Game number four is Inflator Water Coolo. In this game, similar to water polo, teams must fight over a ball to throw it into a net. Keepers are positioned at each goal net to stop the inflator cool ball crossing the line. The team with the most points at the end of the match is declared the inflator cool winner of Inflator Water Coolo. Now look. All right, now we've got this captain stuff out of the way. Let's talk about the inflator cool finale. What's it called? I was just thinking inflator cool finale. Sounds not informative enough. Uh, all right, well, what's something that you like? Books. 
books? What books? Your favourite? Harry Potter. I don't mind Potter. I'm thinking of making Harry Potter a poem. Like, as in, not Harry Potter a poem, but the book of Harry Potter into a poem. Sounds um, like a good idea. Yeah, po- it's not bad. Poems are winners. Yeah. Uh, I love them. I we love can, poetry. We can tell. Yeah. Um, anyway, so, what's your favourite part about the Harry Potter books? It's a tough one. It's pretty tough, but I reckon you can put it down to one thing. I, I reckon I could. Yep. I'm sports mad. Yeah. So, it's got to be Quidditch. Quidditch. Yeah. Nah, good man. I reckon every single young person loves Quidditch. So why would we do? Love it with their whole heart. Yeah. Well, they everyone thinks it's inflated cool, and everyone wants to be inflated cool. That's true. You know, it's all the rage these days to be cool. So why don't we do a game on Quidditch? Perfect. Is it okay? Tell me, what's the key ingredients for Quidditch? Well, number one, obviously, is the broomsticks. Uh, yep, alright, everyone will have pool noodles. Perfect. Everyone has to stay on their pool noodle at all times. Else, they get a penalty. Penalty, penalties, negative. People hate penalties. Number two, the quaffle. Quaffle? The Red Bull. Red Bull. Are we going to have a Red Bull? Of course. Not the drink Red Bull. No, not Red Bull. No one likes the Red Bull drink. That's disgusting. Ugh, Ari. People go to Perth for things like that. Yuck. Yeah, who wants Perth? Yeah, so we've got a Red Bull on water, floating. That's right. Inflator, inflator floatable. Cool. Inflator floatable. Inflator floatable. Oh, shippers. <laughs> then, there's four chasers. And they have to take the quaffle and put it through the goal sticks. Okay. Little round circles. Yep. At the end of the field. Are we going to have those? We are going to have those. Inflatable? No. No? They're just going to be rings. Cool. In the air. Sick. That's awesome. So you throw it. Through. Through. That's better than I thought. I thought people were just going to drop it in there. I thought, ah, tacky. If they're in the air, cool. Inflatable. It's, it's challenging. Inflatable. Inflatable challenging. Yeah. Next thing, there's a keeper. Okay. He stops the, the clock going through the ring. Sure, yeah. Last one. Oh, yep. No, no keep no. going. Yep, yep. Last one, there is the beaters. Guess what they've got? Beatings. Close. Inflatical. Beatings. Even closer. Water pistol. Yeah, thought so. I was that, I was, that was literally my second oh. guess. Or third guess. I should have let you keep going. Yeah, that's cool. Sorry. Inflatical. They use the water pistols to try and distract the other team. Alright, so I've got it. We got beaters who are trying to distract the other team, stop them from getting the goals. We've got a keeper who's trying to stop the goals. We've got a quaffle, a red ball that people are throwing around. We've got beaters with water pistols just throwing water in people's face. Uh, That's crazy. Am I right so far? And chasers. They get the quaffle. Chasers getting the quaffle. Perfect. Everyone is on a pool noodle. They must be on their pool noodle at all times, otherwise they give a penalty. And penalties are bad. Penalties are bad. Bad news bears. Yep. So true. It's it's good, but I'm seeking out something better. Are you? That's it's, it's fascinating that you use that word. What word? Seeking. Better? Ah. Close. Yep. Almost like you did it deliberately. Well, if I was thinking beating, it would have been for beaters, but we've talked about them already. We so. have. So, the, on each team, there'll be 10 inflatable team members yep. on the sidelines. Okay. While the Quidditch game is going on, yep. the team members have to dive to the bottom of the inflatable ocean, yep. retrieve a numbered jar and build an inflatable puzzle. That sounds, that sounds cool. Uh, it's amazing. Yeah. All the team members open their jars that are numbered one to nine. Yeah. And then race all the other teams to build their puzzle. Okay. Whoever finishes their puzzle goes inflatable berserk. Yeah. And we sound an air horn. Okay. And then big drama. Yeah. They open number 10. Yep. Golden snitch, they're the winners. Yeah. No golden snitch. All tears for them. It's literal game over for them. Literal game over. You would Could not be more literal. All right, so we've got 10 bottles. So there's number one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Every team has to get a bottle so numbered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten they, bottles per team. Yep, they open up one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and but leave not ten, ten to the side. 
10 shut. Leave 10 to the side. Open 10, you lose. That's right, straight away. You're picking up all the rubbish. For the rest of the year. Day. Year. That's, it's the first day. Month. Yeah. Week. 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 Day. Day. Rest Done. of the day. Rest of the day. Yeah. That's cool. All right, that's kind of, that's pretty self-explanatory then. So really, all we need to do is make sure there's one keeper. Yep. Three four. beaters. Yep, three beaters. So that's four players. Yep. Then we've got three chasers. Nope, four. Four chasers. Yep. So we've got eight players. That's right. Playing the game of Quidditch. Per team. Per team. So 16. 16 altogether. Um, yeah, okay, so that's easy. And then the rest of the team is making inflatable cool puzzle. That's right. First team to finish the puzzle. Wins. What no, is the no, no. No. Well, like, and gets the seeker, obviously. Yeah, yeah. So, only one bottle out of the ten has the seeker inside it. The quick, if you, the snitch, the snitch. The, did I say keeper? No, seeker. Seeker? Yeah. Yeah, the seeker shouldn't be inside it. No. <laughs> in fact, if the seeker can fit inside the puddle, bottle, yeah. your team can probably win. Yeah, automatic win. That's cool. That's a fair effort. Yeah. We'd, we'd clap that. I'd clap that. Clap all day. All year. We'd actually get everyone clapping. Sound no hair, air horn, and be like, duh, duh. Duh, duh. Yeah, you get it. Well done. It's so easy to learn. So, a side challenge, aside from Quidditch, is see if you can get your seeker inside a bottle. But the bottles are this big, so... It's tough. Are they but... specially marked suburban bottles? I'm sure they will be. I hope they're not, because we want to sell them and people have a photo with them. They won't be. Okay. This sounds like something we've done before. Which you don't remember. Nah. In all honesty... In all honesty... Be sensible in the water. We are building a metropolis. Basically what it's gonna be, pools in the water, floating. Very cool. Floating. We want you, everyone to look out for each other. Make sure that no one is getting dunked underneath the water, no one is getting hit or kept underneath. We seriously, it's gonna be a bunch of fun. We don't want the day to be ruined by someone unfortunately having an accident or anything like that. In all honesty, but we want everyone to have a huge amount of fun. This day is especially for you to kickstart the new year. We'll see you very soon. Love you all.